Hi everyone, so today I'm here reporting to you in my pajamas to tell everybody about this new product that I got which is the Essence Slash Eyebrow Gel Mascara. So I'll be doing this because I have thick eyebrows and you know I don't really see a lot of people with thick eyebrows doing eyebrow reviews so I really just want to take one for the team and show everyone how this product holds. So I'll be using the Essence Slash and Brow Gel Mascara along with a spoolie just to brush through my brows whenever I need to. And now I'll just be pinning back my hair just to get it out of the way. I just came out of the shower and I have no makeup on by the way. I just really wanted to show this on a more natural face and with no products on. So to start, I'm just going to be using my spoolie to shape my brows um, just so I can kind of see the shape that I want and what I'll be working with. So right as I pulled out the wand, I did notice that the product didn't really have a gel feel to it. It just kind of felt really watery to me. So as I applied it, it did confirm my suspicions of it not um, having a gel feel. It's more watery and it just felt super lightweight. I was already skeptical if it could hold my brows. As you guys can see, I'm pulling it up so much. But, you know, it's just, it, my eyebrows just keep going down back in place. Can you guys see I wiped that off? That felt like water. Right after I wiped it off, it just felt like nothing immediately. So, I guess you guys can see how disappointed I look because I actually had high expectations for this product, but it's not meeting any of it. So here, I'm just letting it dry. And I'll actually go in with my spoolie next just to help me shape it a little bit more. I was thinking since it's a gel, I could let it set a little bit more and then I can brush it through with a spoolie just so my eyebrow shape can stay in place. This is my sad face because you guys can see from this close up that there's not really that much difference compared to when I didn't apply it. So. Um, I was really trying hard with the spoolie to really shape it and keep it in place but nothing was working so I was very disappointed. Even though I was not happy with the result from my other eyebrow, I just decided to go ahead and do the other eyebrow as well just in case you know it just needed a little more time to dry or maybe my methods were wrong but this is how I always use brow gel so it just doesn't work. These are the finished brows. You can tell there's not much difference from before I applied to now the results. So to all my thick brow people out there, this is not the product for you. Maybe for less than an hour use it's fine but if you want to go out and use this product, you gotta reapply in a few seconds. So I don't recommend this product at all. Um, this is me an hour later at 5pm. You guys can see, I actually did a touch up right before this clip. So my final verdict is don't buy it unless maybe you just want to stay home and take pictures but have your brows look good. That's all. I rate this 2 out of 10. It didn't do much for me and I really wouldn't repurchase this even though it's really cheap. I would just go out and find something else. Thank you.